Hi lovelies, welcome back to another video. So today I am finally doing a design and I'm doing a gel polish nail art design on top of those gel X dupe nails that I posted earlier on this week. And if you missed that video, I would have it in the description box below. You can go ahead and check it out after. So I'm starting off with Deep Emeralds by Madame Glam and I'm applying two nice thin even layers as I always do. And I'm going to cure in between each layer for 30 seconds. And now I'm going in with these iridescent chrome flakes and this is from Beauty Big Bang. And I'm just taking my cleanup brush to press those flakes into the tacky layer of the gel polish. And after I'm happy with the placement, I just took my finger and lightly tapped that chrome just to make sure everything was nice and flat. And then went in with my Madame Glam's No Wipe Gel Top Coat. And guys, when the top coat hits this, oh my gosh, it just comes to life. And now I'm taking this grey gel polish by Azure Beauty and this is in the color 7031 and I'm going to be applying this to my entire pinky nail, my middle finger and I'm doing a French on my index finger and I did do two coats and I did cure in between each coat again for 30 seconds. Now I did do a review on this particular brand of gel polish and if you guys are interested I will have it in my description box below so you guys can go ahead and watch that after. While I'm applying my gel polish, I just want to chat with you guys a little bit. Now, these nails have been on, I did it last Saturday, so they have been on for a week. And there is no lifting or anything like that. You guys can see it for yourself. Please excuse my ashy cuticles. When I'm finished, I'll oil them up and they look all cute and stuff. But because I have had them on, before I went in with my gel polish, I did have to go in with some acetone and alcohol together on a lint free wipe and cleanse all the oils and the breeze and whatnot from on the gel itself before coating with my gel polish so i am going to try as i told you guys in the last video in the comment section i'm trying to keep these on to do an info for you guys but i really hate seeing my nails when they're growing out but because I love you guys so much and I know that you want to see how long they last and I myself am eager to see like the longevity of this dupe set, I am going to bite the bullet and it's going to happen. We're going to change the design maybe once or twice after this one, but it is going to happen. But I am going to leave them on so that I can bring you guys the full 100 updates on how they held out. If a nail fell off, whatever it is, good, bad, I'm going to let you guys know so be on the lookout for that. So back in with this deep emerald, I'm going to do my entire ring finger and I did my usual two coats and then after that I'm going to go on top of the grey and I'm going to coat one top corner. I don't know what shape it is because this nail turned out to be a very random abstract sort of look and I, I didn't like it at first to be honest with you guys but it has started to grow on me. Tell me in the comment section below, have you ever done that one nail art design that you were not too keen with at first, but as time progressed and the more you saw it, is the more you fell in love with it? Well, because this one was so out of my comfort zone, that's how I felt about it. Honestly speaking, after watching the entire design come together, I really love how it turned out in the end. Let me know what you guys think. So going in with those chrome flakes again, I'm going to be applying them over the green section on my middle finger and then I'm going to go over the entire ring finger, making sure they are nice and flat and then I'm going to coat it with my matte gel top coat.
securing my matte gel top coat, I did remove that dispersion layer and I decided to go in and apply my Swarovski crystals before completing those two nails. So I'm using my gem gel and then I'm going to be using rose gold crystals and this gold ring because I didn't have a rose gold ring, which you really didn't see it underneath the chalk white crystals either. And I'm also going to be using some gold microbeads. So after I do this, I am going to go ahead and clean up any excess gel that I don't want underneath my no wipe gel top coat. When I'm happy with the placement, I did flash cure. And then I went in with my Madame Glam's no wipe gel top coat and coated over the entire nails without touching my crystals. To create my marble, I am using white gel polish and I did thin it down with some alcohol and I'm just going to be using my cleanup brush once again and I did try using the cleanup brush to actually do the marble because I was just being really lazy and didn't want to take off my 3D brush but I ended up taking out my 3D brush anyway. And I am going to be using my acetone to thin out the gel polish to create my marble. And if you guys want to see how I actually do my marble and I go in depth with it, I will have that video in my description box below. You guys can go ahead and check it out. So after I was happy with the way that my marble looked, I am going to go in with my detail brush and that same white gel polish. And for those of you who are interested, this is the Madame Glam's Perfect White. And I'm going to be outlining some of the veins in my marble and this is just to give it a little more definition so that it stands out just a little bit more against that dark green and those chrome flakes. So when I was finished with my ring finger all I did was go in with my no wipe gel top coat and cure that and the last nail which is my middle finger I did do some random line work and then I went in and cured that because I did use gel polish to do my lines as well and after curing it all I did was apply my no wipe gel top coat and that was basically it for the set all that was left for me to do is wait for the gel polish to cool down go in with my cuticle oil and of course I will have a clip of the final result at the end of the video to share with you guys i hope you guys enjoyed how this turned out as i said before it was a little bit different for me but i'd like to hear what you guys think about it and if you enjoy this video leave me a starry eyed emoji with those comments in the comment section below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed please click on that subscribe button and while you're there why not just turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss a beat the next time i upload a new video so that is it for me guys i am out i want to tell you guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and as always i would love for you guys to keep safe and i'll see you soon